as a freshman, I loved art. I think that everyone has some kind of passion for it, whether or not they know it right now or they don't. Being in prep, I've definitely had a much bigger appreciation for religion and where I come from, and I think now I kind of understand it much more than I did as a sophomore, or as a freshman, rather. Over the past four years, I have grown and I have now direction of where I want to go and what I love to do in art. I am mostly work in pen and ink, and that's, that's my, my thing. Everyone around me supports me in what I do, including God, and I believe that that's something that is really important to have in someone's life, especially as a high schooler. I want to be a special ed art teacher. Um, so I look at art as a gift. I think art is something that needs to be in someone's life. I think it's, it helps develop someone's character. I think it helps express. I think, I think art is very therapeutic. I have a lot of beliefs about art. And the amount of classes that are there and the helping forces that are there in prep, that it helps you kind of build yourself as an artist. The teachers here are fantastic. They help you at no matter what you need. They'll always be there to help you. The students here, even the students help you become who you are as an artist. It's some place that you want to go to school. You want to hang out here. You want to indulge yourself in all of its activities. There's absolutely nothing that is here that you wouldn't want to be a part of. Really, one quote that St. Francis said was, um, do what's possible and then what's necessary, and then you're doing the impossible. Well, when I first came here, to be honest, I was not the most religious of kids. I did not really go to church that often. But when I started to see the different options that campus ministry offered and different aspects of religion that I've never thought of before, I did get very involved in the religious activities. I did actually become very interested in being in the minister of Holy Communion. I did want to go out and help others less fortunate than us in the midnight run. And I also wanted to go to different places such as Camden, New Jersey, to go and help those that we do not see on a daily basis to just show them what we have here and how we care about them. What we went through in a day, the people of Camden go through an entire month and it's spread it out. So you have to remember that, you know, some nights people won't eat at all. You know, kids, little, little children, won't eat at all because they can't, they don't have the, you know, options that we have. You know, they don't have the convenience that we have. I believe that this school is one of the best high schools out there because it does offer different activities and it does not seclude anyone from trying to be what they want to be. It offers you um, many opportunities to pursue whatever you would like. Uh, I'm going to try my best to uh, spread the Franciscan spirit. Um, I'm going to try and teach others, or even if not teach, at least show them that there's a whole other world out there that a lot of people don't see and a lot of people don't think about and that it's willing to be explored if you want to explore it. So to not hesitate and just go out there and get what you want. St. Francis Prep really does make me feel like I'm on top of the world because it does offer so many different activities and whatnot. So I do feel like I have a chance to be something great in this world. I like sharing with people why I love the things I love, especially about prep because this school means very much to me. I've always been pretty academically driven, but extracurricular involvement was never something I thought I'd really do. All of freshman year, I made the mistake of not joining a single club, a single team, no activities. But I saw from my friends who were in activities how much fun it could be. I just, I was afraid to put myself out there and be a part of this community, and I regret that. I loved being on the lacrosse and track and field teams. I enjoy Speech and Student Congress. It helps me to better mold myself for public speaking events. I myself am not Catholic, but I'm Christian, and um, it's a new experience for me to uh, be part of the liturgies and experience the Catholic faith in this way. St. Francis was one who did not turn away from those who, who didn't believe what he believed in. St. Francis 
himself came from a background where he wasn't all, he wasn't very religious when he was in his younger years. We seem to be very open to that diversity that we have and aware that we don't want to infringe on the right of others to believe in what they believe in. This is a Catholic school with many different religions and people who come here and that we aren't going to tiptoe around the fact that we are diverse. We embrace all people, all cultures and religions that 